Canterbury Anifest 2007 gave five schools in the local area the chance to make their own animation. Their brief? Issues which affect young people. Each school sent a group of 12 pupils aged between 14 and 17 years old. Each group would only have three and a half days to complete their film. During their time, the young people were given complete control over every part of production, giving them every chance to get across their own views and opinions. Every week, a group would become a small film crew and produce the films, ideas, scripts and storyboards. Design all of the characters, then build the sets and models. All of the frame-by-frame -frame animation and perform and record all of the dialogue, sounds and music. Canterbury High School chose the very sensitive subject of domestic violence for their film. The group maturely tackled the issue by producing a powerful film which had a very well-written script. The script put across their message in a thought-provoking and creative way. The film asks its audience to think about the issue and has a shocking ending. Hern Bay High was one of three classes that chose to focus on an environmental issue. Impressively, the group managed to produce two films, creating their own mini-series. The two animations were set around three blobs. The first film questions wasting energy and the second recycling. The group tackled the films with plenty of energy, using it to make their point with lots of laughs. The sixth form group from Chaucer Technology School chose an issue which affects young people of the same age in America, high school shootings. For their animation, the group researched the subject and then decided to write a song and produce a music video. The group chose to use artwork, opting for a cut-out animation technique to make their point. The Community College Whitstable chose to produce a documentary with animals giving their points of view on environmental issues. The group designed all of the models and then recorded the voices for their furry and feathered friends. Global warming. The class even had the cameras turned on them when Meridian News came in to cover their progress, making them the stars of the show. Students from Kent schools learning about animation in a special studio set up with the help of Canterbury's Christchurch University. Just a few years ago, this would have been unheard of. But because animated characters have become so popular on television, interest in the whole subject has blossomed to such an extent that students could soon be learning it for their GCSEs. St Anselm's Catholic School pulled dinosaurs into the 21st century living their lives in our world to make an issue of the way we treat our environment. For each of the dinosaur scenes, the group produced a script and storyboard, built a set and sculpted the dinosaurs from plasticine, animated every frame of speech, and finally edited it together with dialogue, sound effects and music. I'm here looking for the monster, but all I can find is this... Uh... Pa papier, uh... After five weeks of animation, 60 young people with no filmmaking experience successfully produced six complete animation films. The films were produced entirely by the young people involved, along with the important messages behind the films. Animation is a medium most associated with entertainment for young people and children. These young people, though, used animation as a tool to entertain, but also as a powerful means to get their message across. Hopefully, they'll be the first of many made along with Canterbury Anifest.